They call him the people's choice. Adam Abero, a former security guard for a department store in England, now the only candidate challenging Gambia's president in this election. In an unprecedented move, all seven political parties have joined forces under this one candidate. As he drives from villages to the capital, the crowd swells. They chant, Barrow, our force. His supporters wave the red card. After 22 years in power, they want current president, Yaya Jame, off the political playing field. He too is campaigning. Human rights organizations say he is a dictator and accuse him of routinely imprisoning, torturing, and killing critics of his regime. In an interview with the local media, Barrow says he's not scared of Jame. They have not been directed to me. I feel that uh, this is about politics, this is about Gambia. So Gambia, at the end of the day, is the most important thing. Yet security forces are monitoring him. In fact, during this interview, plainclothes officers were keeping a close watch on what he says and the journalist's presence. Since the beginning of the campaign, several reporters have been arrested and the government refuses to allow some foreign media, including Al Jazeera, into the country. Since he came to power in a coup in 1994, Jame has won all elections in the Gambia with a comfortable margin. He enjoys the presidential campaigns and the crowds they draw. At this rally, one of his supporters faints. Jame treats her. He says he has superpowers. The ability to cure all sorts of diseases, including AIDS. But it will take more than a miracle to convince his opponents to vote for him. Let me make it very clear. I will not allow one person to jeopardize the peace, tranquility and development of this country. I will never accept that. The opposition fears that this election will be rigged in favor of Jame. He is here for 22 years now. It's enough. Enough. We are in for the two time in the office agreement. Whether he walk or not, even he feel up to the sky. But the government are in for two time in the office. I don't really mean it. This time we have to leave. No longer afraid, Barrow and his supporters are outspoken, mobilizing the masses in hopes to use the popular vote to finally unseat Jami out of power. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar.